What's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. Today we're breaking down Freight Train by Elizabeth and we're doing it in the chord melody style and this is geared to be your first, most absolute, easiest beginner chord melody out there, an introduction to this lovely style. No bar chords, basically everything's quarter tones. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be made for beginners. Printable tabs for this tutorial and all our tutorials by becoming a Patreon, links in the notes. Links in the description as well. You will also see my email if you're interested in Skype lessons one-on-one. -on -one. Chord melody playlist up in those links too. Let's do it. Go ahead and grab your ukulele. Brain and attention span. Once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's learn this lesson together. Come on in, let's do it. Okay, so it's called chord melody, but really, it should be called melody chord. It doesn't sound as good, but the melody is much more important than the chords per se, because that's the that's gonna be center stage. So let's learn the melody, and then we're gonna talk about the chords that support it. I'll put up the first four measures, and let's play through this melody together. Each tab represents, because again, this is geared towards beginners, each number represents the number of the tab that you're gonna play. So when you see three on the A string, it's one, two, three, the third fret. Okay, so the first four measures we get. And you see it's mostly quarter notes, third fret of the A string, open, drop to the E string, third fret, one. All quarter notes, open, third fret of the A string. And then here we have two and. So there is an eighth note there. Third fret, first fret, two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two and three, four. Okay, in these four, four measures, we're gonna add an F chord and a C chord. All right, so what you're gonna do is, when you want the melody to shine, there's two things you gotta know. Your ear is gonna hear the highest note played on the ukulele. So if I stump with my thumb, for example, the first three strings, your ear hears this F note. If I strum all four strings, your ear hears this A note. The other is your thumb is gonna make the melody pop more than your index finger. So we'll take a look at that in the context of the second measure a little more. Get your pinky on the third fret, make an F chord, and get your pinky on the third fret of the A and strum all the way through with your thumb. And then remove your pinky and strum through again with your thumb. This time, get your pinky or your ring finger, whatever easier, on the third fret of the A string, E string, and then remove it. And again, you see my thumb strumming only those three strings, and I'm using this A string almost like a trapeze net to catch my thumb. Or like if you ever see a plane land on the aircraft carrier, they have those ropes to catch the plane. And then I remove it, and I strum the first three strings of the F chord. So that first measure you get, Okay, then we're gonna make an C chord, but we're gonna start off by strumming just the first three. Then we're gonna use our thumb to strum all the way through. Then right after that, we're gonna drop down and play that first fret of the A string, but just that. Two and, and then we're gonna play, well now we're actually playing a C7 technically, not a C. C major, C7. And we're gonna strum with our index finger softly all four strings. Because note here, by being softer like this, it doesn't feel like any melodies popping out. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep the rhythm going and play the chords, but we're not trying to make any melody pop out. So those first two measures. Okay, back to this main C. Strum all the way through, first fret A string, no fingers. So this is playing an A note over a C chord. When you're creating your own melodies, you don't always have to do just chord tones. You can mix some notes from the scale that aren't in the chord, because you'll notice the C chord in the melody is, the B flat's in the C7, but we've played an A note over a C chord. Some notes in the scale will sound good over certain chords, some won't. That's kind of getting to know the scale and getting to know the intervals a little better. 
we're gonna get our ring finger on the third fret, strum all the way through. Now this is a G note, and a G note is in a C chord, C, E, G. We're gonna go back to F, pinky on the third fret, and immediately off, two and three, four. So the, sec so the third and fourth measure, those four measures together, Next four measures. The melody of this is going to be let's count that. We get one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. So here there's something we haven't seen so far. This first note is going to last for a measure or a beat and a half so it's going to go one two and one two and so you play that one and then we're going to strum with our index finger after so we get one two and and i'm just going to go ahead and grab that first fret right there with my index finger because i'm going to strum on the next on the third beat with my thumb again so i get one two and three four only those first three strings with my ring finger on the third fret of the E string then I'm gonna make a B flat now uh, the B flat chord is not really much of a beginner chord but we're only playing these three strings so you can make a B flat like this third fret of the G string second fret of the C string first fret of the E string and you're not actually fretting or you're not actually worrying about this first string so you're going to strum through those three, get your pinky on the third fret. The G note is the second interval in the key of F. The B flat chord is the fourth chord in the key. It's common to use the second interval over the fourth chord, even though that isn't a chord tone. This is a pretty common way that you'll see singers and composers use this. And I say that if it feels more advanced, you don't really know it, need to know it for this song. But if you understand what I'm saying, it's a good tool to have in your tool belt in terms of composition when you're composing your own chord melodies or your own melodies. So we strum through. One, two, three, four, and. So you strum through in the fourth beat and then grab your pinky and play the third fret of the E string on the off beat. On your way to this F chord, strum all the way through. Second beat, strum the first three strings. Then you remove your middle finger and strum all the way through. This making it like a C suspended four, actually. Ring finger, third fret of the E, strum those three. Then back to the F and you'll strum those three. And then three down strokes with your index finger on the second, third, and fourth beat, which have no melody. So these four measures nice and slow. One, two, and three, four, one, two three four and one two three four one two three four okay next four measures the first the melody That's the same as the first four measures. And then we have something new. Fifth fret up here on the, which is an interesting choice. It's kind of dissonant, which means kind of tense. Fifth fret of the A, first fret, open, third fret. And then this is something that we've seen already as well in the fourth measure of the first at the beginning. So the only one that's really different is the. Okay, so this whole melody. So that means measures in this sequence, we've already played and seen the first, second, and fourth measures. 
So we really only need to look at the uh, third measure here. We're just going to strum all the way through like we would with the C chord. In more complex arrangements, if you want to, you can actually pluck just the C chord to get an interesting, more open arrangement. Again, this is meant to be just a beginner chord melody. You can arrange this song, which means you can choose the chords and the notes that you're playing to support the melody to be more complicated and interesting. But I really want to just get people introduced to this style because it's so much fun to play. And this is a classic tune that a lot of people play for their first chord melody. Okay, so you get. All right, put all that together, we get. Okay, okay, the next four measures, our melody here is. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. So we start off A7, strum all the way through. One, two, and three, four, and. A little similar to the second section, but a little more movement to our B flat. One, two, three, four. Nothing too fancy there. And then over the F, we're going to play the open C. All the way through on the F. All the way through. Open. Third fret. Then our F. Two, three, four. Now those last two measures, measures 15 and 16, you're only going to play like that the first time through the song. The second time through they change, and that will be the end of the song. We'll take a look. Let's play these four look and then we'll talk about those two measures. So these four. Two, three, four. Okay, in those last two measures, 15 and 16, you would play like that and go back to the beginning, but at the very end, they're gonna change and they're gonna look like this. All right, so you're going to notice that the first of the two is the exact same. One, two, well, one, two, and three, four. But we add a little spice to the end of this to give the finale of the song a little more movement. We're going to play the F like that. Then we're going to play the open A string. And keep your index finger down. Go down here to the third fret here and pull three to one. Down to the second fret, pull two, one whole time my index finger staying down, make an F and strum through those three strings. So you get one and two E and a three. Okay, one time without counting. Now, if that's too tricky, when you get to that part, you can just strum an F and finish the song that way. So those are all the pieces. Why don't we play through the whole song together from the top? One, two, Three, four.
And there you have the whole song, folks. Thank you so much for learning. I accidentally played an extra F <laughs> on one of those, but you get the idea. Thank you so much for watching. 10thumbspro.com. See you next Wednesday or Saturday for our next tutorial. Cool, everyone. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the lesson. That means you nailed it. I'm proud of you for watching this far. I'm proud of you for learning with us. 10thumbspro.com. Keep on rocking and rolling. New ukulele every single Wednesday and Saturday. Think about becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And you get access to this tab and all the previous tabs. Literally like almost a thousand tabs start at just a dollar. Okay? All right. And so until next time, keep on rocking. Keep on rolling. Love your neighbor. Eat your vegetables, say please and thank you, show gratitude. Remember, enthusiasm is great. Try new things. Um, roses are red, violets are blue. I play the ukulele and now you can too. <laughs> that was, yeah, goodbye. Have a lovely day.